the United Arab Emirates is a country located in the Middle East. The founders of this country made a successful accomplishment in turning it from a desert to an oasis as we know it today. Through this journey, our leaders faced many difficulties, but with commitment, hard work, and faith in Allah, in just 40 years, they turned it into the one of the world's leading countries in many fields, and each year, this country is breaking records to become one of the major nations on the globe. But a country shouldn't stop improving and investing on becoming even a better country when they become a great country. It should find ways on how to benefit their citizens and their future generations. This ideology led our government to think about what would happen when we would run out of oil, which we will someday. As Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed said, if our investment today is right, I bet that we will celebrate when the last barrel of oil is exported after 50 years. Today, the UAE is also trying to become a sustainable country. But what is sustainability? The word sustainability means to maintain our planet. But how and why? The resources on our planet is somehow limited. Being sustainable is to know how to use these resources to protect Earth and keep it safe and clean for the future generations. One of the main sectors that a country must maintain to become sustainable is energy. Introducing you to the term energy sustainability, which means that the energy used in the country is efficient enough to fulfill the needs of the present generations without threatening the ability for future generations to fulfill their needs too, while keeping our environment clean and safe. Energies that fit in this category are special because their features focuses on being clean and they are resources that can renew themselves. To support the idea of being a sustainable country, the United Arab Emirates have invested billions in two types of energies that the government think they w that would be efficient enough to cover the country needs after exporting the last barrel of oil, which are solar energy and nuclear energy. We all know so much about Masdar City and how it is benefiting us. But do we know anything about the Emirates Nuclear Energy Corporation, also known as Baraka Nuclear Power Plants? After the poll I posted online, 68 responded no. So let me have the honor to introduce you to it. Nuclear energy is the energy generated by nuclear fission or fusion. This energy is used specially to generate electricity to service the military and also for the medical sector. This type of energy isn't renewable because it needs the element uranium to generate energy. But unlike fossil fuels, uranium is found nearly everywhere on Earth and is classified as a common element. The phenomenon of nuclear fusion is the primary method for producing nuclear energy. It is the reaction that happens after the split of two neutrons that are rich with high rays. After the split, large amount of gamma rays and enormous amount of energy is released. And after that, energy is stored for use and radioactive waste is stored safely too. This process will happen in a chain reaction and will keep on releasing high amount of energy. That's why there should be a cooling station to control this process. The difference between the way nuclear and fossil fuels generate energy is the way they heat up the water to get steam. Fossil fuels generate the energy by burning the chemical fuel, while nuclear power uses the method of splitting the uranium nuclei to release energy and release electricity. Nuclear energy has multiple advantages, which are low greenhouse gases emissions, powerful efficiency unlike other energy sources, reliable to produce energy even in rough conditions such as sunstorms and humidity, also cheap electricity because the uranium price is low and the nuclear reactor life range is quite long, and additionally cost of its fuel is low too. But some of the disadvantages are nuclear power is a non-renewable energy source. If an incident happened, large amount of radioactive materials could be released into the environment. Additionally, if not stored correctly, nuclear waste can wipe a whole city. But the possibilities of a nuclear accident is decreasing throughout the years. However, no industrial activity can be represented as entirely risk-free. Incidents and accidents may happen. To generate electricity, nuclear power needs uranium, and even though it's a common element on Earth, it is mostly mined in Kazakhstan, Canada, and Australia. Australia has its nuclear cooperation agreement with the United Arab Emirates, and will supply uranium for use in the UAE Developing Nuclear Power Program. 
There are three types of nuclear reactors. The first type is the civilian reactors, which is used to generate electricity and heating. Secondly, there is the military reactors, which is used to develop and construct nuclear weapons and other army military related stuff. Thirdly is the research reactors. These reactors are multi purposes. They can be used to develop weapons, energy, producing new types of technologies for training purposes and for producing radioisotopes for medicine and research. The nuclear reactors that are under construction in the UAE are the civilian reactors. The three major incidents that happened in the nuclear industry. Firstly comes the Chernobyl disaster in 1986. A series of reasons led to an explosion of a reactor in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant facilities. It resulted in a huge cloud of radioactive smoke in the air and covered about 100,000 square kilometers. Immediately, 100 lives were lost after the explosion, and an estimated number of 6,000 human beings died also as a result of the disaster. Secondly comes the Three Mile Island incident. It is considered one of the most serious civilian dangers the U.S. have ever faced. One of the important reasons of this incident is because of the violation of the nuclear key regulation of safety. Thirdly comes the Fukushima incident. This one is the only one of the three major disasters that wasn't because of a human error, but because of an environmental issue. A 9 magnitude earthquake struck the coast of Japan, which led to a tsunami, which resulted to a flood all over the nuclear power plant 51. This major disaster damaged an electrical lines and generators and caused an explosion to three reactors. This incident happened on 2011. Referring to the survey that I took, 38% said they would feel unsafe if a nuclear power plant was built near where they live because of the disaster that happened and occurred in the past. But according to my research and interview, two of the three disasters were because of a human error. The UAE will apply very high security measurements to benefit from this affordable and economical energy without threatening the lives of all living things around this reactor. The third incident, which was the Fukushima nuclear incident, was because of an earthquake. This type of natural disaster, which are classified as deadly, rarely or to be specific, never happens to the UAE, and the engineers have chosen a geologically safe land to build the reactors on. It is true that the country is run its back on this industry because of the incidents that happened, but today we found ourselves forced to return and face the challenges of this energy to hand back the big advantages offered by this energy. The number one priority for the workers of the Emirates Nuclear Energy Corporation is safety. It has to be in everything the employee do. Each employee is empowered to stop the work if they feel a situation is unsafe. The UAE also have signed an agreement with the Korean government as well as the UAE Army and the National Emergency and Crisis and Disaster Management Authority to start training local specialists to put plans and preventions to cope with the disaster and prevent it from occurring. According to my survey, 71% said they have no idea why the United Arab Emirates invested in this field. But according to my sources, it says the United Arab Emirates has its strategic plan to have more than one power source to secure our future demands. Firstly, nuclear energy will produce cheap electricity. It will fulfill our needs without using any other country's help. Secondly, we can sell the electricity for other countries. And finally, it will lower the unemployment rate. The United Arab Emirates energy demand is growing about 9% each year. In 2014, 99 of energy consumed in the UAE was from a natural gas source. But the United Arab Emirates have a plan to diverse its energy mix. So by 2020, 24 of the total energy produced would be from clean energy projects, such as the nuclear energy project. By 2050, the UAE energy goal is to produce 50% of its energy from clean energy sources such as nuclear and solar. The United Arab Emirates has a long history of success, and I guarantee you that it will have a long list of accomplishments in the future too, but it needs our help, the youth. We need to work on our education and knowledge and personalities to complete the path our nation is taking. We are the future. We are the 2030 vision.